Welcome back everyone. Let us continue with the explanation of this prose packing. Before we move on, let's discuss the questions that were given at the end of the first video. I had already discussed question 1 and 2. Let's discuss the other questions. Question 3 says, I can't sit still and see another man slaving and working. I want to get up and superintend and walk around with my hands in my pockets and tell him what to do. It's my energetic nature. I can't help it. What did the narrator dislike? He never liked sitting idle while someone was working. What nature of him is revealed in the above lines? His energetic nature when he supervises the other people. That is the nature which is being revealed here. Superintend means to give instructions. And the word which means to work excessively, that is slaving. When you're working really hard, that's slaving. Next. It seemed a longer job than I had thought it was going to be. But I got the bag finished at last and I sat on it and strapped it. Ain't you going to put the boots in? said Harris. And I looked around and found I had forgotten them. That's just like Harris. So please match your answers. I hope you have already attempted them. So match your answers with the ones which are given here. What is it here? So it here refers to the job of packing for the boat trip. What did the narrator forget to put in the bag? He forgot to put the boots in. What was, narrate, what was irritating for the narrator? The insensible laughter of George was very irritating for Jerome. Then give the antonym of strapped using a prefix. I hope everybody knows what is prefix. So unstrapped, UN is the prefix here. Okay, next. I opened the bag and packed the boots in and then just as I was going to close it a horrible idea occurred to me. Had I packed my toothbrush? I don't know how it is but I never do know whether I've packed my toothbrush. Who is me here? Me is the narrator here. Why did the narrator open the bag? The narrator opened the bag as he had forgotten to pack the boots in. What was the horrible idea? So whether the toothbrush has been packed or not is the horrible idea that every time occurs to the narrator. He is not able to recall whether he has packed his toothbrush or not. Occurred means to come to one's mind. When something, when a thought comes to your mind, that is occurred to me. All right. I hope you must have written the correct answers. Now let's continue with the explanation. My toothbrush is a thing that haunts me when I'm traveling and makes my life a misery. I dream that I haven't packed it and wake up in a cold perspiration and get out of bed and hunt for it. And he says that his toothbrush is a thing that haunts him. That means it troubles him very much whenever he's traveling and his and the toothbrush makes his life problematic. A misery that means full of problems. So he dreams that he hasn't packed it and he wakes up in horror. He wakes up in cold perspiration. That means he's sweating. So he wakes up with this thought that, oh, I've forgotten to pack my toothbrush. So he gets out of the bag and starts searching for it. And in the morning, I pack it before I have used it. And even before using it in the morning, he packs it again and then he has to repack he has to unpack again. That means he has to open the bag again. And it is always the last thing I turn out of the bag. That means I take out of the bag and then I repack and forget it. And then he again puts into the bag and he again forgets about whether he has put the toothbrush inside or not. And then at the last moment, he rushes upstairs and carry it to the railway station wrapped up in his pocket handkerchief. Because he is not able to recall whether he had packed the toothbrush or not. In the morning when he gets up, he packs it without even using it. So he has to again open the bag. He takes it out. And when he repacks it, he again forgets it. It is always the last thing that he takes out of the bag. And then he forgets it. So at the last moment, he has to rush upstairs and carry that toothbrush to the railway station packed up in his in his handkerchief that means the hanky of course i had to turn every mortal thing out now and of course i could not find it and to find his toothbrush he turns out that means 
he brings out all the things which were packed inside the bag but he still couldn't find it i rummaged the things up into much the same state that they must have been before the world was created and when chaos reigned and he says that in order to search for his toothbrush he rummages all the things that means he because he was in a hurry to find his toothbrush so he finds it in an untidy manner and none of the thing could be identified that is why he is writing here before the world was created and when chaos reigned that means none of the things were in order and nothing could be identified of course i found george and harris's over 18 times over but i couldn't find my own and he says that of course i was able to find the toothbrush of george and harris at least 18 times but when it came to my toothbrush i could not find it i put the things back one by one and then because he had taken out all the things out of the bag so then he starts repacking it in the hope of finding it so he repacks all the things one by one and held everything up and shook it that means he was picking up the thing and shaking it so that if toothbrush is there it will fall down but nothing happened then i found it inside a boot i repacked once more so he had to pack it one more time because he was unable to find his toothbrush when i had finished george asked if the soap was in i said i didn't care a hang whether the soap was in or not so he says when i had finished george asked me whether this whether he had packed the soap or not and since he was irritated now so he says that he did not care i didn't care a hang that means he did not care about it at all i slammed the bag and shut and strapped it and found that i had packed my spectacles in it and had to reopen it i got shut up finally at 10 5 pm and there remained the hampers to do and he says that he was so irritated now that he slammed the bag shut that means he loudly shuts the bag he straps it and then he realizes that his spectacles have been packed inside the bag so he reopens it takes out the spectacles and then shuts it up finally at 10 5 pm in the night and then only the food baskets were remaining to be packed hampers the food baskets now who will do it the other two friends Harris said that we should be wanting to start in less than 12 hours time and thought he and George had better to do the rest and i agreed and sat down and they had a go so harris suggested that now jerem you rest and george and me will pack what what will they pack the food hampers the baskets of the food we have less time remaining now so we should better start packing the food hampers and you go and rest they began in a light hearted spirit evidently intending to show me how to do it i made no comment i only waited and he says they began in a cheerful way light hearted spirit that means in, in a very happy mood evidently that means clearly they wanted to show jerome how to pack things i made no comment and jerome says that i did not comment on it at all i only waited so this shows this line i only waited it shows that jerom already knew what was going to happen he knew that there will be a chaos he says with the exception of george that means not including george harris is the worst packer in this world and i looked at the piles of plates cups kettles bottles pies stoves and cakes and felt that the thing would soon become exciting so he knew that since george and harris are packing and he says that harris is the worst packer in the world looking at all the things which were piled up to be packed in the hampers in the basket he knew that things are going to become exciting that means there will be a huge chaos here and it did he says they started with breaking a cup and how did they start packing the first thing that they did was breaking a cup that was the first thing they did they did that just to show what they could do and to get you interested and humorously he mentions that they did that to make you interested that something much more exciting is coming up then harris packed the strawberry jam on top of a tomato and squashed it so he packs the strawberry jam bottle on top of a tomato 
and obviously what will happen to a tomato it will get squashed and they had to pick out the tomato with a teaspoon with the help of a spoon they had to take out the squashed tomato so the second thing they did was packing the things the eatables in a wrong order okay i hope this must be clear to you okay so let's have some more questions the answers of these questions will be discussed in the next video what did jerem often forget to pack who started packing packing the hampers where did the author find the toothbrush finally think about it what did the author forget to pack in the bag what irritates jerem k jerem the most who is the author of the lesson packing that means who is the writer what horrible idea struck jerem's mind after packing his bag who was the worst packer according to jerem i hope you'll be able to answer all these questions i will be discussing the answers in the next video okay till then read the further chapter so that you are able to understand and you know connect with whatever we have read till now all right we'll make meet in the next video